Spore mushrooms. These are always really hard to use. But they're really good if you can get like a knoll to stand on them. Because then they don't even have to go through the maze. They just seek and destroy. Uh, camera's freezing again. Cool. This one's hard. Hmm. Yeah, this one's kind of hard and kind of annoying too, I remember. So if I block this off, then where, what happens? Okay, it looks like they all go that way, at least. No, they stop. What if I sell this? Hmm. Because what I want is for them to have to go all the way around so I can load up traps on this side and then maybe clear a couple of guys that come through here. But I seem to remember that not working, so... Maybe it's just not to be. I, like this one. I do really enjoy just, like, setting up just as many kill... Just as many kill deaths as you can on either side. Oh yeah, and this is one with 50. 25 on each, I assume. Great, awesome. Kobold fun ruiner. <laughs> Get back downstairs, if you please. Come on. <laughs> My fault. Let me just... Maybe that ought to help. Stop doing that. It's not safe. Last thing you'll ever see. May as well get it underway. I'm just standing around waiting here. Guess I could have been a little more on point with that. Random coin drop. That's good. This is something that I actually quite like about this game. Um, like, there's a lot of games that are like not character driven at all. And while, like, this is a thing where this isn't talked about at all, here, the War Mage, currently unnamed, if you recall, he's only named Maximilian when they need to differentiate him from other War Mages. 
So for the first two games, he's just the War Mage. Um, but his name is Maximilian. And here he uh, is starting to realize that, like, he's going to just be fighting against orcs, like, his entire life if he doesn't do something else. And he may have the option to do something else. But, you know, he's he's recognizing that it's a problem that, like, as long as the rifts are open, the orcs will pursue the fortresses in order to try to, uh, you know, shut them down. Invade the human world and all that. Ooh. Look at that. We can put him on this side, too. I am, like, there's a lot of characters from this generation of video games that do not have a great deal of characterization. And, like, sometimes I, I feel like I don't really know what certain characters would want or like. Just, you know, it's, it's a thing of just, like, making characters who do not have strong characterization... And sometimes it's a thing where, like, this is an indie game, and so the developers would never have put that much work into it to begin with. Or sometimes it's a thing where, like... I'm not saying that that's what they've done here, by the way. I'm just saying that sometimes that happens. Um, sometimes it's, like, they're supposed to have a really weak character so you can, like, project yourself onto them. But also they can't make the writing work where you, f like, literally never talk. So you talk enough to, like, still have a voice actor and a character and everything, but... Still could be better, you know? Just to stop the kobolds from coming in. Orcs. Cross borks. I think the gnolls will all be hunting for me because I'm just first in line here. But yeah, it's kind of a... Because, like, obviously the focus of this game is not the story. But it actually manages to have an okay one. Like, it's perfectly passable. I think the ideas raised by it, like... What if you had a perfectly medieval world, but then also you could teleport? Well, then... Like, trade and commerce and, like, food and industry would, like, crazily flourish, right? And that's the world we've got going on here. But then those rifts require, you know... Portals to the orc dimension, I guess? So I've not actually played all the games. And like I said, they're pretty light on story. Um. Okay. Blowing up on that side. Now we gotta go deal with you. Brother. Awesome. Great. But yeah, like, this, this world building thing of, like, totally normal medieval world, but then also we have this million dollar concept of being able to teleport anywhere for free. But obviously that becomes a problem because then people want it. You know? Like... Yes, that's an awesome industry thing, because it would be an awesome anything thing. And if that were the case for, like... You know, if, the, if it was the case for war, then you could have your forces at an enemy stronghold in seconds. Which is obviously what the orcs want. 
But then, like, not to spoil it here, but, like, the ending of this game is that the War Mage decides to make the executive decision and shut everything down. And so that's actually what you've been doing this whole time. You haven't just been going to places and defending rifts. Because if you did that, then you would just be defending them, and that's it. Like, maybe you might get a day's rest, but what he's actually been doing is he's actually been stopping the rifts. He's been shutting them down. If I remember right. I replayed this a little recently, but I still might not remember right. It's on that two on that side. And three rows of... Let's go for three. And let's grab three. And then... Two deep with barricades on the maze here. Not quite one deep on the barricades with the maze here. So why don't we... Um, make it symmetrical. And then, this is now at least too deep with the barricades. Just like it is over here. Yeah, not having barricades down here means that, like, the, um, the kobolds that I send will get dispensed pretty, uh, handily. The kobold bombers. Because, like, if you have barricades down here, like, oh my god, kobold bombers will just rip through them. It's annoying. Um, yeah, sorry. So, like, it is an interesting character choice that, like, the War Mage is willing to say, like, look. There's only so much that I can do. And, you know, if you have the, the ability to recreate these things, like, if you have the ability to make them, then you probably have the ability to recreate them. And if you want to do that, then you should definitely do it when there are more of me to run around and defend them. Because right now, there's just the one. Who's even... Oh, I must have blown him into a corner there. Alright. Cool, good. All fine here. Nothing but smiles. Cool. Still got those logs to let loose with. But yeah, I think it's interesting to, like, to declare that you are going to shut down, you know, this thing that makes life possible in the manner that they have it. And, like, it will cause worldwide starvation because you can't get food from the farms that are millions of miles away because now you have to walk that distance. All right, just really bottleneck him in there. Yeah, it is. It is like, it's it's a harsh choice to have to make, and like obviously this is something to not be envied. But I, I do really like that the War Mage is willing to have enough of a character to make those choices. You know, a character is nothing without making choices. At some point, they'll have to do something in the story, right? Like such is the nature of it. You know, even in a even in a game where like um sorry, just getting a little Okay, cool. Just wanted to make sure that my uh webcam is still going. But even in the sense of something like a um a game like Half Life, where you don't have that much of a character at all. And almost everything that happens is a choice made by somebody else. Sorry, Knowles, if, if you'll just follow me through here. Thank you. Um, okay, and then it's got a little curly Q there. Just to maximum length that. 
All right. A full complement of that, of tar. And uh, four uh, shooting traps on this side. And we got four and all the tar. Great. Then two, three, four. We'll go with seven each side. Two, three, four. And then when we get another one, we'll put another tar trap down there and we'll be symmetrical again. Yep. Fine by me. Will this... Does that work to stop them? It looks like it does, actually. Great. Takes the stress off of my plate. So if I remember right, there actually are some TLC campaigns for this game, but they're pretty hard. Though I might just be thinking of the second game, maybe. Flamin. Flamin. Well, that's a bad job, because I have a uh, flame. What you would need is ice, sir. Ah, what the hell. Let's do a log. Just one. Just as a little treat for myself. I think on this side, I did enough damage that they wouldn't have been able to tank through these. And then I'm just helping out here. I'm just speeding up the process. Cool. Uh, we have a one additional tar trap to put down here. Where does this go? Oh, yeah, up here, right. I totally forgot about that. Yeah, we can put um, arches up here. Well, let's do that. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And I do see them shooting, so that's good. Hey, that's something I can work with. No logs required. Come on in. Are you stuck? He was stuck. You all saw that? Okay, I see you guys getting chewed up over there as well. All right, this is 12 out of 12. Cool. Great. Oh, the swinging arm is, is messing with the camera. That's good. 